Part of Lewis. I'm fine with Mr. Lewis. Hello. Dr. James Martin. Sanity always has been an issue here. Hasn't it? Sadly, movies and TV have filled our heads with images that are largely metaphorical. Not meant to be taken literally. We don't need nice priest. We need holy priest. Father Lou represents the priest of our times. Priests like Father Lou are concerned with being liked by the world, pleasing the world, and the times in which they live. These men are focused on being nice people, while holy priests are concerned about pleasing God, doing his will. When Father Lou walks into the scene, he wants to make sure that he sits well with Dr. James Martin. So the first thing he asks is, sanity has always been a problem here, hasn't it? It's a question. He also mentions how entertainment has used demonic possession as symbolism and metaphors. Sadly, movies and TV have filled our heads with images that are largely metaphorical. Not meant to be taken literally. But they aren't actual possibilities, reaffirming what Dr. James believes. But then, he also wants to be accepted by the victim, Edward. So he makes his intentions clear. I'm not here to hurt you, Edward. I'm here to help you, to put you at your ease, make sure you're comfortable. Now he's not here to evaluate if there's demonic possession or influence, his mind's already made up. Also, something to mention, he had no intention to talk about the faith or to administrate any of the sacraments. If anything, you could see where his priorities were by the colorful scarf that he had on, instead of having a priest's purple stole. Something curious, he mentions that he's never met a demon before, or he's never been part of an exorcism or even plans because he doesn't think it's possible to be part of one. Personally, I've never met a demon. I've never been part of an exorcism, nor do I expect to be. Many of the things that bother us are just our own fears and disordered thoughts. This really seems to align with the clergy of our time. It actually reminds me, a few years ago, one of our parish priests, a very young priest actually, he mentioned how many priests don't believe in the devil anymore, even some bishops. Bishops. Because of that, many young priests being ordained had to be part of an exorcism. So he shared his experience. He only talked about it once and it, it was rough. He talked about how it was very much real and something not to mess with. He actually had only shared it because something idiotic had happened. So the reason much of the older clergy don't believe in demonic possession is because they never had to be part of an exorcism. And I just like how Father Lou represents them so well, even down to, their, to the age. So the attention to detail in this movie is good because they could have went with any actor to represent Father Lou but they chose an older man. I'd also like to note that in every archdiocese, from my understanding, there's only two appointed priests to be exorcists. So it makes sense that even throughout their vocations as priests, they don't have to be part or even perform an exorcism. Also, many exorcists claim that of all the people that go to them, for every hundred people, only about one in two people are actually possessed. Anyways, back to Nefarious. The demon is actually perplexed that Lou doesn't believe in demonic possession. So he point blank asks him. You, you don't consider demonic possession to be a possibility. Our understanding has evolved beyond that. And Father Lou explains, oh no, we're much smarter than that. We made up the devil to represent the evils of the world, but our understanding is so much better now. And because of that, the demon was at ease. He was over here worried, screaming, demanding that Father Lou gets out because through him, Christ could have delivered Edward. But now everything's okay. Well, I appreciate you telling me that. I feel... I feel much better. So he lets Father Lou sit down and he has a smile from ear to ear because now he's in, now he's accepted. And it's what nice priests desire. They want validation, they want to be liked. And for a second, the demon gives it to him. And Lou, I was wrong about you. I should have had you come and visit sooner, but I'm Glad that you did. I, 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 I'm glad that we're all getting along. And when Father Lou seeks that validation, he wants to be reaffirmed. He pushes him away, what he's most insecure about, so he hurts him deeply. Would you like me to stay? No, we're done. Um, 
Well, if you, if you need me. But one way or another, Father Lou feels something deeply sinister within Edward, so he leaves. I'll be available. Oh. You'll be available, Lou? Right up until the time you were... Uh... Right up until what, Lou? Right up until the sizzle? God bless you, son. It's you... worth mentioning that the demon is very concerned about getting Dr. James Martin to believe that he's actually a demon, but he doesn't even want Father Lou to know anything. He doesn't want to convince him, he just wants him to get out of there. Something to actually point out. The movie's great, it's good, and it represents this type of priest, the nice priest, who seeks validation, who desires to be liked. This was such a good movie, very accurate, more accurate than the other shallow horror movies that try to represent exorcisms. If for some reason you haven't seen this movie, I definitely recommend it. And if you have, let me know what was your favorite part. Probably just a coincidence.